All right, hello everyone. I hope the stream is working. Let me know if it's working. I really don't have any way to check right now. Actually, let me, I could just go ahead and open up YouTube and see if it started, I suppose. So I'm going to do that real quick, make sure the stream is working. And then we're going to jump right into it. Let's see here. So it seems like it's, uh, like it's working. Um, doesn't really tell me, and then we're going to jump right into it. Let's see here. This is important. <laughs> so it seems like it's, That's funny, uh, bro. all right, it's working. So we're going to go ahead and jump in. I got my Wii mode here. I should be able to hit the go button. There we are. Let me know if you can hear the the sound of the game here. Probably move my mouse here. Hey -ya! Hey -ya! And Squirrel says, "How are you spinning the Wii? It's a secret. It's called the power. It took a lot of work and a lot of." Uh, I don't know why the camera's on. There we go, there's the camera on my face. Uh, I had to pull some strings. And it was a lot of like monkeying around with a lot of different technology. But um, I finally got it working. Um, so I'm planning on playing this for a little while because I love Nintendo. Nintendo's a good company. Um, I know Phil's in the chat. Phil, have you. S and yes, I can. You can hear it. Cool. Um, have you ever heard of this game slash seen this game before? This is called The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. 2006. I actually did not think it was that old. So we're gonna hit A and B and start the game. So we're gonna do... I guess you got the turn Come on, buddy. It worked for me. There we go. Not focusing on me, it's focusing on the Wii. My camera's being stupid. Okay, there we go. I'm back to me. So, I always name myself. I mean, I always name myself Jesse because it's just it's easier. Anyway, you're in for a trade show, but if it's very story oriented. I don't know. It, it'll be fun. So I also have to name my horse here. And I'm looking for any suggestions. Because it could be pretty much anything. The original name is Epona. Great Fairy Fountain. I assume you're referring to the music that's playing. Yes. Anyway, looking for names for the horse. <laughs> That's actually really funny. I assume... Wait, is that... Are you answering for the, the horse name? I need a clarification because I don't want to, like, name it yes. And then... And then we'll go with the whole game with its name being yes. No, I'm still thinking... Okay. <laughs> imagine if I just went ahead and did yes. Yes. Lol. 
Lola. Lola. Oh no, it can be a girl. I think it is a girl, actually. <laughs> we'll name it Lola. I'm okay with that. That'd be fun. I thought, I honestly, when I read that first, I thought you said name it Lols, like L O L. That's. But Lola's a good name. L O L A. The reason I'm keep looking over is because my the chat is really tiny on my phone now, so. Okay, we'll go with Lola. 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 Alright. Very good. First cutscene. Tell me, you are. <clears throat> Tell me, do you ever feel a strange sadness as dusk falls? They say it's the only time when our world intersects with theirs. The only time we can feel the lingering regrets of spirits who have left our world. It's getting intense already. <laughs> It's a very distinct chin. That is why loneliness always prevails, the hour of twilight. Thus the name Twilight Princess. <laughs> I your phone. It says tape your phone to the monitor right in the middle. No, that is a bad idea. For a bit. Okay, so that means you're plugging in, but you're still watching. Is that correct? I'm going to assume so. All right. But enough talk of sadness. I have a favor to ask of you, Jesse. Oh, I feel so special. He's using my name. I was supposed to deliver something to the royal family of Hyrule the day after tomorrow. There's a word for that in Spanish, but I, I can't remember what that is. So, delivering something to the rogue family. Yes, it was a task sent to me by the mayor. <laughs> the mayor? But, would you go in my stead? Me? Go in your stead? I can't. Those are big shoes to fill. You have never been to Iowa, right? No, never. In fact, I, I didn't even know who I was until a second ago. That is right. In the kingdom of my rule, there is a great castle, and around it is around it is Castle Town, a community far bigger than our little village. So we live in a village, and far bigger than our rule is the rest of the world the gods created. You should look upon it with your own eyes. Sounds like a Star Wars quote. It's getting late. We should head back to the village. I will talk more to the mayor about this matter. So I got a horse, it looks like. Lola. Hello, LA. Still going. Wait, there's a lady. She's stealing my horse. Who's this guy? Hey! hey. Yes, he, he, you there? Yeah, I'm right here. Hey, you mind helping me herd these goats? 
Well, I actually do that in real life, so... Yes. They ain't listen to me lately. <clears throat> they ain't listen to me lately. <laughs> He's like, I didn't say anything. Hey, where's Lola? L-A-L-O-L-A, -L -O -L -L -A, Lola. And the camera band's over there. I think I know what I have to do. Why did it go black? Oh, that's because the screen went black. Okay, we're good. Now I finally get to play. I can run around. I can roll around. Okay. Hey! Come on now, hurry up and bring Lola with you. Okay, here we go. Let's go get Lola. Ooh, gotta bring a rock. Smash the head. Ruby! Yes, now I'm rich. It's going. Okay, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Alright, so we're running through. I like. There we go. This is uh, GameCube era graphics. This game was originally made for the GameCube, um, but it came out like right as the Wii was coming out, so they just ported it to the Wii as well. See, there it is, right there. It is a girl. I tried to name her Brad. Yep, that's a thing I did. Alright, Lola is a girl too. So you have to treat her nice like one. Yes. Oh, but listen, Jesse, could you do something for me? I mean, I guess. Could you use a piece of grass to play that song for me? You know the one that Lola likes. I should probably talk like she's... Such a nice Lola looks happy. Well, she all free up now, so I suppose you can ride her back. But I don't. But don't you make her do too much, okay? Okay, I will. Thank you. Hey, I wanted to ride. Yes, I'm gonna have to go to the ranch. I'm gonna just try to ride this horse. Let's see what's over here. So this is the door we locked. When you lock the door, we can't actually go out yet. So let's go. This way, Lola doesn't know how to turn, apparently. Run to the wall. Apparently, put my spurs. Don't treat her nice, I'm just like, yeah! yeah. Alright, whoops, went by my house. I should have really checked out my house, too, but we'll do that later. We'll come back a little later. Ordon building. Got butterflies. That's the guy I was talking to before. Playing with a sword. Apparently, he's left handed. Some chicken. And a fat guy. Hello there. Ah, if it, oh, <clears throat> oh, if it isn't your Jesse, aren't you going uh, to close the door? <clears throat> going to close down the ranch for today. I just closed up the shop myself. <laughs> I'm sure you know all about those cheesy monkeys that have been coming into the village lately. I did not. Those things worry me a bit. I wouldn't know if you worried too. Whoa. Snapchat is making my phone vibrate. Okay, I'm sure we good. I better lock up tight here. I couldn't stand to have any more goods stolen. Can't trust them. Good for nothing husband to do anything right. Now, come on, Dad. You can't catch a silly little monkey. Oh, well, no, no, I can't. So, 
One thing uh, I did not get the first time I played this is that guy on the left there is a man. <laughs> I thought he was a woman first time I played this, like the entire game. Um, but apparently that guy is the, the big lady's husband, and that's her daughter. So, oh, listen, listen to us, blam on, I don't mean to keep you. All right, off to work with you. All right, thank you. Yeah. Whoa! This map. It's a big word. Speak. Hey! Ah, uh, great time, Jesse. There was something I had forgotten to tell you. My son Colin is making a fishing rod so the two of you can play together. That's fantastic. He should finish it today, so come and get it at the house tomorrow. That sounds like a plan, sir. Hello? What is your name? Ah! My phone has gone off. That was my alarm to uh, get up from my nap yesterday. Okay, oh! Oh, hi, Jesse! I'm making you a fish rod, you know? So that is Colin. The guy with the really weirdly cut hair. I didn't actually notice that before. <laughs> I don't like it. Of course, my hair is kind of spiky, too. And, like, it looks like my sleeve is, like, sewed on. I don't think I get very much money. I'm making you a fishing rod, you know. All I have left to do is paint it, so get ready for fishing. I will. And who you must be, Mrs. Collin. Good evening, Jesse. Good, good evening, Jesse. This is a lovely sunset, is it not? It's, it's kind of you to spend time with my husband, you know, it gives me time for myself. Oh, you do have. Hold on. You do, do <laughs> Oh you do you have to go put the livestock to bed now? I do. Did you mention the sunset? Is there even a sunset? I guess. I don't know. Chickens! Here chicken. Gotcha. I have the chicken now. Sweet off. Oh, I didn't mean to speak to you again. Blah 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 blah. Okay. So he's making me a fishing rod. Alright, let's go. Moving on. Alright, let's talk to the back. Ah. There we go. Oh, Jesse. It looks like you've been doing to keep up. Well, it looks like you go go on to keep up. To help Fado. Fado. Good job. So Fado is the guy who came and talked to me at my house. He headed up to the ranch just ahead of you. Go on, climb up on Lumba and let's get it going. If you don't hurry, the sun will go down. <laughs> Lord knows what happens when the sun goes down. Yeah! Yeah! Steroid induced goats. These things are huge. We're on range. We're at a range. Yeah. Sorry to get you here in such a hurry, Jesse. These guys have been awful skittish lately and they don't listen to a word I say. It's hard to ask about how about you and Lola heard them up in the barn real quick. You ain't got much time, so they can do it for me. Yes. Much obliged here, bud. Okay, then go on and hurry, little scrapes up into the barn for me. Yeah, Mini game time. Yeah. Yeah. Whoop! <laughs> the hit button. Whoop some. Yeah. Yeah. Whoop. Yeah. Whoop. Yeah. Whoop. Yeah. Whoop. Guys got angry. Hey, oh, the angry goat! Hey, angry goat! Oh, yes. Stop hey, jumping! Hey, 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 oh, that's close. Hey, Alright, I'm pretty sure you can, like, pet the two. Let me just look through that. Pet. Wait, come 
as I stick my hand inside. I think I can... Yeah! Take that, go. Roll over. Wrestle me around. Try to you, too. Yeah! Stupid goats. That guy's angry now. Oh, they're both angry. Oh, he's trying to go. Oh! Alright. <laughs> That's the ring of fire. This is happy music, you know? This is the kind of music that, like, I want my alarm clock to be. It's like, oh, time to get up. Hey, 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 up. tomorrow without having you trouble you. I read that wrong. So just sit back and relax, bud. Alright, cool. My job here is done. Oh, but you know, how about today? Want to practice with them fences? Just wait a spell, bud. I'll get them fences set up. Thank you, Fred. Actually, that's not his name. Fran Fred? Francis? Fred? Fred? Francis? I don't know his name. Whoa! Ho! Sorry that took so long. Okay, then. You all right all you want. Yo, get tired, Ryan, just jump the gate and head on back to the village, okay, bud? All right, here we go, so... Yeah, yeah. You just hit it right before you jump over it, and you get to jump over it. I had a lot of trouble the first time I did this, but... Uh, I am an ex-veteran... ...veteran player. Do I want to save? Yes. We will save it to Jesse number one. Oh, my time, 17 minutes. To save your progress during the game, press that. Okay, gotcha, thank you. Are we still going? Okay. There are three people outside. Hey! The hey, wake up, Jesse, it's morning already. Looking at out my window there. I'll just, uh, I guess I sleep on uh, nothing. I sleep on the ground. I'm pretty sure Link is incredibly poor in this game. Of course, I own an entire house. I own about 20 books. A giant rock. This fairy is my pointer, by the way, so I get my pointing because we won't. I can point at the screen. There's a picture of my horse. The three girls that were outside. Some goats, maybe. I don't know why I have a rock there, though. That's so weird. I have a fireplace. I'm cooking something. Apparently, I left the stove running last night. Fredo, somebody is sitting there. It's a picture of a goat. And I own different plates and everything. I think I have a basement as well here. Drop down. And I have no lights. You have one ruby. I found that in the grass. <laughs> My window curtains are just kind of like aprons. So I do own a house, so I guess that counts for something. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, do I have? I thought there was grass. <laughs> do I have like bread on strings? Is that a thing that people do? 
Alright, let's open my door, head out to the outside. Confront the uh, girls there, what just happened? Alright, well, my phone went weird. Are we still streaming? That shit's not gonna connect. I'm just gonna assume here, I'm just gonna just give me a second here, I'm just gonna check something. got when I was pretty young I got this game and all they wanted to do was ride the horse that was the coolest thing to me and Colin here doesn't let me ride my horse today now. All right let's check this sign. Jesse's house. That's right don't you forget it. All right what do you guys want? Uh, oh Jesse didn't you hear? Did you hear? I did not. That's, that's how I got to shot out the store right now. A saloon shot. Tyler, if you and Marlo want it so badly, just buy it at my parents' shop. Do you see any rubies in my hand? I can't afford that thing. Come on, Beth. You can't just loan it to us for a while. So I guess the oldest one is Beth. Yeah. And Phil says you're kind of lagging every once in a while. Okay. I can't really help that. Like, how bad is it? Is it like really, really bad? And is it a recent thing? Because if it's a recent thing, it might be just because I'm like playing the the video. Let me just try doing the really bad really video quality. Say something. Check on this here. How many drop frames? It says I didn't drop any frames though. I don't know. It's not terrible. I think it's better. Okay. Thank you, Phil, though, for your concern with the with the stream. I appreciate you. So far, you're my number one fan, and <laughs> my only fan. Anyway, um, so can't afford that. Yeah, we already said. That. You know I'd get in trouble. F you know I'd get in trouble for that. If you two want it, then save up your allowances or something. But our allowances are terrible. Oh, I wish I was born to a family with a slingshot instead of one, a one with a water wheel. So she has something to do with a water wheel. That also killed my voice. So I don't know how many times I'm going to be doing that. Hopefully not many. <laughs> only many, yep. Yep, you are my only fan. So I think the stream, because the thing that the stream does... Whoa! Yo, Jesse, try talking to me from here with... Hey, well, TV targeting. 
so I can like Z-target him and talk to him. Oh! Oh, that is a face. Hey there. Hey, there you go, over here. Yeah, you're... Maybe I should give him like a Australian accent or something. Why not? Yeah, there you go, over here, yeah? Your boss kid as well, as usual. Hey, you teach me my little t tracks to talk to someone from a distance by pressing A with hidden Z. So listen, why don't you climb up those vines here, Jesse? Anyway, the thing that the, uh, the stream does is if it does lag a little bit, um, it like delays the stream a little bit. So like, I started out with like a five second delay, I think, as just the baseline, just in case something happens and I have to like stop it really quickly. Um, and I think we're up to like 12 seconds or so that I'm actually the wait now from like live, but it, it's pretty close. Uh, yo, you, you, there you are. Check this out. You know Saria at the general store? Well, this isn't that, isn't that her kite over there? He's just been sitting there next to my house having a stirring contest with the creek. <laughs> you don't suppose he's thinking he's gonna catch a fish, do you? Ha ha ha! A kite can catch a fish. A cat can't catch no fish. Anyway, that's not what I was mean to tell you about. I want you to take a look at something. See that grass growing there at the edge of the rock? Even I seen you whistling with that stuff? I figured it was pretty rare to see growing in a place like that, so I thought I'd let you know. <laughs> I bet you could hop across these rocks with just a little... It wouldn't, couldn't you? <laughs> ah! I didn't actually mean to do that. Um, how, do I, how do I do that again? So there's a cat over there. We gotta remember there's a cat. Alright, I'm gonna take this nice and easy. Yeah, okay, we did it. Pick up. So a hawk came down, and I can like direct it at a location here and fire it. So that did nothing. So that girl is invincible. Cool. What is this guy looking at? Hey, the for work today, my boy. Not me, the wife's been ha hassling me. Today's the day to restock our store. Look, see, up there in that tree, if you see it, then move around. If you can survive, you can get a better view. Yeah, some Ordon bees built themselves a fine nest up there, and I was thinking about knocking it down. Our cat hasn't come home since yesterday, so that's their cat. Uh, so the wife's in a bad mood. At the very least, I need to bring something home to her. Okay, so let's go get that beehive. Um, because it was, I can you see, you look at it. I could go up there. That's a bad idea. I played this game before, so I do kind of know a little bit on what to do here. Uh, we're just gonna take this this whistle here. ever so perfectly. Get him, Hawk! Get him! Yeah! That was the classic Zelda chime. So now... We can go check it out, I guess. Okay, fantastic. Get our reward. He didn't promise anything, though. 
Yes, yeah, I, I saw that. Pulling down a hawk, why didn't I think of that? I was thinking of trying to knock that down myself, but you beat me to the punch, my boy. Of course, you were just staring at it. I am expecting a monetary reward. Oh, um, good morning to you. If you're looking for my husband, he took his sword and left this morning. Oh, that's too bad. But I must ask, Jesse, you have not seen a cradle come floating by here, have you? It is a baby's cradle made finally of woven tree bark. Oh, such a misfortune. How could it have drifted, I wonder? Now, I could look around for it, but I don't know if you remember. Now, if, you, if people were playing the game by yourself, it might be, you might be like, well, where is it? So that's like the next objective is to get this cradle, right? Uh, if you come over here and explore, you'll see there is a monkey over there. And it's kind of hard to see right now. I could swim over there, but I'm not going to. Um, they were complaining about monkeys stealing things. It's hard to see from here, but he's holding the cradle. So what we need to do is we're going to blow... We're gonna blow this popsicle stand and uh, call the hawk down. All right, come here, hockey. Come here. All right, now I point the screen. Now I gotta aim this so perfectly. Such a tiny target. Oh, I hope that worked. And we're gonna uh, go ahead and uh, steal the cradle back. Zelda chime means something, we did something right. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop across dangerously, across everything here, and deliver the cradle to the old wife. Oh, Jesse, that cradle! That cradle! Did you go to the trouble finding it for me? My thanks to you, because I wasn't gonna find it staring at the water like that. Ah, that reminds me. There's something I'm supposed to give to you. Do you think you could carry that cradle? Yes. <laughs> and come back with me back to the house, I sure can. Walk, giddy walk, giddy walk. She has this like weird... <laughs> ah! I didn't mean to actually throw it. There is something I'd like to give you. Can you carry the cradle <laughs> and come with me? Yes. <laughs> alright, alright. Yeah, let's carry this cradle. Oh, look at me carry this cradle. Yeah. Oh, carrying the cradle. Carrying the cradle. Guess I'm carrying the cradle. Carrying the cradle for you. You, ma'am. Doing it for you. Yeah. Oh, doing the cradle. Carrying the cradle. Carrying the cradle. Okay. My thanks to you, Jesse. Yes, yes, I nearly forgotten I'm supposed to give this to you. All right, here you go. <laughs> you got a fishing rod, a simple fishing rod with a bobber. Set it to B on the minus screen and press B to hold it. Lower the, I assume that's a Wii remote, to cast into the water and raise it to pull it out. So it's all about real life fishing here. You can fish with just the hook, but you can catch a wider variety of fish if you use bait. It's a little unpolished. My son, Colin, made this under the instruction of his father. You can make it if you like. You can use it if you like. I can read it. Yes, you sit down, you pregnant woman. I didn't mean to assume you're pregnant. If you're not pregnant, I am. I'm sorry. I'm just going to leave now. We'll see you later. So, if I press the minus button. Whoa! B button. Okay. So, I can press the B button. To select it to my inventory, and now I have a fishing rod. Yeah, oh, it's fishing for chickens. Chicka, chicka, chicka. Yeah. What do you got to say, sir? Morning, Jake. Morning, Jake. I like I was handling things at the ranch down today. When he's up there alone, I was figuring something. I didn't even get the reader. Hey! Whoa, go down loose. He's heading for town. Somebody stop it. Oh, I'm ready. Ready. 
Oh, Fido. Did it again. Those goats have been awful skittish lately. You always got to be on your toes. Sorry about that, Jesse. But thanks to you, that goat didn't get away. Oh, thanks. Silly goat. You, yeah, you walk back sadly to your pond. So, now, uh... Oh, there's the windmill, so that, uh, if you remember, that's the, the household end of that baby-esque person. Because he was talking about, uh, being, uh, associated with the windmill. Oh, I can go in. Fantastic. I didn't even know how uh, you could. Oh, oh puppy! <coughs> I'm gonna steal this puppy. This puppy will be mine. I'm going to name him Bob. Oh, what? Doesn't let me take him out. Let's put him in the fire. Oh, it doesn't let me do that either. Um, I'm sorry, I'm leaving. Hi, <laughs> oh, welcome, Jesse. <laughs> if you're looking for my hubby, he took a break from working and went outside. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if he's taking a nap somewhere. He's in the middle of making a shield for Colin's dad. Russell. Right at the moment. <coughs> See it right over there. Though it looks like, though it looks like it's far from being done. I'm sorry you came all this way to find out and about. All right, I'm gonna remember that. There's a shield in the house next to the thing. Oh, Bob, I'm sorry. What have you done to this doll, Bob? There's a creepy doll. That is the creepiest thing. I am sorry. That is why that baby is so messed up. That's why that baby can talk like a, a grown adult. So, um, if you remember from earlier, there's that cat, right? And if we get too close, the cat um, runs away. Now, actually, there is something I want to show quick. So we can swim, by the way. Uh, we can definitely swim. But if we go in the shop here... You can see the shop lady sitting there. Welcome, my dear. You didn't have to see my little cat out there, did you? As a matter of fact, lady, I did. So, we, I, he ate the fish we had for supper last night. We gave him a skull and he didn't come back. I forgot to read that. I'm sorry. I'm so fraught with worry for him, yeah, I'm exhausted myself. So, basically, something to do with a fish, right? And the cat is hasn't come back. So, what we're gonna do then, we now have a fishing rod, and the cat's over here, we can't just pick up the cat because he kind of runs away, so we're gonna cast like a fisherman would, get the bobber, you wait till it, ah, damn, try it again, there are fish in there, you can see them. Okay, we'll wait till the bobber goes down. Ah, oh, come on! Alright, we'll wait, we'll wait a really long time this time. Come on! Oh, there we go. Out of fish. Green gill, 11 inches. These small fries are everywhere. Ooh, alright. So we let the fish go. The game's kind of confusing here, but you have to catch another fish. Yes, fish! Yes! You gotta bring the same thing. Alright, so I'm gonna release the second one. And then the cat grabs it. Oh. <laughs> and then runs. 
all the way back home in the gather. Zelda chime, we did something right. I can put away my fishing rod and head on over to see what the lady says. Nice. Just you simply must hear this. <laughs> Just take a look, my little kitty. Kitty Jesse came back. Wait, what? And he brought a fish back with him. He was worried about me being angry. Oh, just look, isn't he so cute? The way he laps up the milk, that milk. Say, my dear, why don't you have some too? I'm in a good mood, so it's on the house today. You got milk in a bottle, but this bottle's half empty. Fantastic. And now, oh, I can set items to the, like, this is called the D-pad. And, um, and that way I can, like, quick access them. Drink some milk. Yeah. Yum. Yummy. Oh, wait, I, uh... Alright, I should have done something else, but we'll come back. Alright, so we did that. And then we'll go over here. Now, you can just... Oop, not that one. There we go. Get some bee... Bee larva. Wait, what did it say? Fish larva, but you love them too? I think that's what it said. It says without the rest of Okay, so you can... Get... Oh, okay. So I can use, I can like re recover health with this, um, and I can also uh, use it for my fishing rod to get better fish. So that's sweet. So I'm gonna climb up here, um, and use it in a little bit. I almost forgot what we we're doing next, but I totally remember now. The game isn't very clear, but I kind of like that sometimes, because then it's like you gotta figure it out. So, we saw a green ruby in the grass seed layer, that was one ruby. Blue ruby is five rubies. So, and then somebody, I don't know who's leaving money all the way up here, but they are. And then a yellow ruby is worth ten. And I am, I have legs of steel because I took no damage. Okay. Then we'll head in here. No, where do you have to return it? To? You don't have to return it. All right, cool. I love that. Bottles are amazing in Zelda games, by the way. I'm sure you'd never do anything of the sort, but these kids. Are... Nah. Never think they do anything of the sort, but these kids always toss things out like a whole world is disposable. It's criminal. So what'd you say, my dear? Is there anything you want today? Feel free to look. So we have um, milk if we want to replenish that, that's 10 rubies. Bee larva, which is what I just got, that's us 10 rubies. Slingshots and 50 pellets, 30 rubies. I got this in for the kids, but it's just a toy. It's just a toy, but it's like something awful when you get hit by it, or it stinks something awful. There's also a picture of a cat, that's kind of cute. Uh, if you remember before, the girls were like, ah, slingshots! So it's 30 rubies, I need to get some more rubies, uh, and I'm going to buy that slingshot. So we got 15 up there, I got the one from before. Sometimes, whatever, for whatever reason, sometimes uh, pumpkins have rubies in them. Not sure why. But uh, at this point in the game, I'm pretty sure the Nintendo is like, yeah, we just want you to explore, kind of get a feel for everything. Hey! Yo, don't waste food! <laughs> My voice is kind of dying now, so I can't really do voices as much as I did before. So we'll climb up this ladder here. See what's up here. Find these boxes, and then 
nothing over there. There's a chicken over here. Whoa. Um, so if you recall, the the fat guy, he is the mayor of the town. And uh, this is his house that I'm climbing on right now. I can skip this thing? Nope, not letting me skip it. That's unfortunate. Okay, so I think I want to grab this chicken then. <laughs> She's like, oh no, I'm gonna die. Looks like, I got it. Alright, so we'll go here, and uh, we're going to use the chicken to fly over here, and get this yellow ruby worth 10. So now, I have plenty of rubies, um, but I kind of want to pick up this rock, because look at that, 5 more. I am rich. 45 rubies. Fantastic. Before I go by that though, I just want to see if I can get into this house here. Oh, I can. Fantastic. Let's go see if Colin's home. Nope, but they got a nice house. I mean, it's smaller than mine, but they got a nice. They have a... That is the creepiest pony I think I've ever seen. Hold on a second. That would give me nightmares. Yeah. I'm just gonna leave. I don't know how half of these people aren't just like insanely messed up with all these creepy dolls, creepy ponies. I feel bad for Colin and that, that baby person. Okay, um, I don't think there's anything over here. The water just kind of comes out of the wall. They're, everyone's growing pumpkins here, it seems like. Alright, to the shop. Hi. Welcome, my dear. Interesting something. Take a look. I am. I want your sink shot. Do you want to buy it, my dear? I'll buy it. What are you doing buying a slingshot, you naughty thing? You're too old for toys. Will you at least let the play kids play with it? Oh, I should tell you, if you happen to run out of pellets, you can also use pumpkin seeds. You love the slingshot. Wait, hold on. I read that wrong again. You got the slingshot. Children love this item. You can hold up the 50 pellets, set it to B, and then aim and, and do stuff with it. Okay, cool. What? Oh, I accidentally just ate a bee larva? No, I put a bee larva on my fishing pole? By accident? Alright, so now I have my slingshot. Oops, did not mean to do that. <laughs> Alright, let's go show the girls. Oh, hi, sir. Hey! Ah, just in time. Just, I just delivered something to you. Oh. Oh, I see you got the fishing rod. Helen would be pleased. And it works better than you would think, right? Yeah, it did. It worked for what I needed it for. Well, have a good one. Thank you, sir, that I don't know the name of. You're just Colin's dad at this point. Look what I got, girls. Jesse has a slingshot. Wow! Uh, if you had enough to buy it, wait, you had enough money to buy it, Jesse. Is everyone poor? Like, <laughs> they're just so surprised. They're like, oh. Preparation. Uh, who said that? Probably the one on the left. Preparation's complete. Okay, wow, uh, this is great. Uh, let's see how powerful this slingshot is. Hit the targets and uh, lose your groups. I can't believe you two brats are so obsessed with about this. It just shows what little boys you both still are. They're both men, apparently. I'm sorry. 
these these two will never let it go, Jesse. Just show up. First, use uh, the Wii remote to aim. All right. Boom. <gasps> you hit it. You hit it. It says this in a slingshot manual uh, that you can tilt the nunchuck uh, Joy-Con analog stick. To look around while using the slingshot. I thought you were just your best. <laughs> so for the longest time when I first played this, I couldn't. I was stuck on this and I couldn't beat this because I would I would get all the targets and then I'm like, okay, what do I do now? And then I would quit because I had no idea. But you had to get the scarecrow head. Well, kill the spider. Am I am I missing something here? Oh yeah. There it goes. Aww. Oh, amazing, Jesse. That that baby's like what? Aww. If you lock on with if you lock on with Z, then you don't have to aim with your cursor at all. Thank you for telling me more about my slingshot than I knew. Golly gee, you are really amazing, Jesse. Thank you. By the way, Jesse, were you expecting Colin's dad to bring something by here? Because he did. Oh yeah, that's right. What was that anyway? I command you to tell us. If you say so. I will check it out. Colin is still staring at the horse. Um, I'm not sure why. Oh, you got it. I hope you like it. Aren't you off work today, Jesse? I am. I will. I don't know what they want from me. If they want me to take a nap or something. Ooh. I guess rolling into a door isn't the smartest thing. There's a giant, he, he gave me a giant metal chest. Well, we all know why we are all poor, because that guy has the money. Oh, you got the wooden sword. It was returned to you fully repaired, easy to use. Just swing. Give me my sword! Oh, I can't do it here. Look what I got. Yeah, Now this is where the fun part of the game, this is why I got Twilight Princess for me, this week. Yeah! Yeah. Alright, let's go talk to them. Oh my, isn't that a wooden sword, Jesse? That's the finest sword there. Uh, Whoa, she's right. Hey, I can can I see it for a sec? Seriously, those monkeys have been coming out of the woods and playing tricks on us. We want to get them good. Come on, teach us how to use the sword. Yeah, I'll teach you how to use the sword I just got that I never had before. Yes! Alright, first off, we want to see that move. Alright. The slice. Um, you just swing the Wii remote, right? Yeah, obviously. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's how you do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, a horizontal slice, was it? Was that it? Was it? Yes, good job, good job, people. Namaste. I think I've seen you do a vertical slice before, too. You have, huh? That must have been in your dreams, because this is the first time I've had a, uh, a sword. You know by swinging uh, we remote uh, Z-targeting. All right, next. Uh, oh, oh, I want to see that other move. <laughs> this is weird. Yeah, you target with Z and then just tilt the analog stick forward and swing. Okay, which one was it, though? Oh, oh please, the stab. Okay, wait, what am I what am I doing here? Okay, so I choose which one. Oh, 
Oh, that was so great. So I, I had to choose which one I was going to please. And I chose wrongly, I think. <laughs> but that wasn't a stab. <laughs> he really meant it. Jesse did that on purpose. Hey, Jesse, do it again. Show all your flexion muscles and stab. <laughs> yeah, oh, stab him. Yeah. Oh, Jesse, just so many things. Since you're, uh, you're at it, how about you show us that other thing? You know, the turn of thing you do. I love that. What do you call it? A spin attack? This bloody shit's already done. Let's side to side. There! Uh -oh. oh, wow. Thanks, Jesse. <laughs> I'm sorry you have to waste your time with these little brats when you must be tired from doing all the important stuff you do. Yes, sir! Hey, wait. You gotta show us that jump attack before you go. I love the jump attack. You know, the one where you go, hey ya <laughs> through the air. That thing you do with a policy targeting. Hey. <laughs> oh. That was probably the most, like, un, um, physical thing, and they were the most impressed. Thanks, Jesse. So, uh, I think I get it, kinda, um, maybe not. So this means that anytime one of those naughty monkeys show up, <laughs> There's the monkey. Come here, you. And they all chase after. I guess we're we're doing this. I should probably bring a pony. Come on, pony. We gotta chase this monkey. Wait, Colin. Colin, what are you what are you doing? No, Colin, I gotta talk to you. Lola looks nervous. I think something about the woods is bothering her. Ooh, I hope everyone is alright. Now oh, music's yeah. getting intense. You know something's up. You know something's up. Yeah. Alright, so this is as far as you got. Talo and Malo went chasing the crazy people. No. Talo and Malo went chasing like crazy people. Lock race people after that monkey. I can't keep up with those two. Alright, hey, hey, Man, like one one after another you guys are giving up here. I guess you are like a baby. How do I talk to you? Aren't I gonna kill I feel like this horse is gonna kill this little baby. Play about that way. The rest is up to you, Jesse. Or right, thanks. Excuse me. Hey, We get to go adventure. The exciting stuff's happening now. Farron Woods. Yeah. 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 that. There is a uh, spring here. Kind of pretty, but we're gonna keep on moving. Keep on. Yeah. Hey, guy. Like Graffer, bro. Listen, I'm not sure you should be wandering around these with a lantern. <sighs> Just because it's daylight doesn't mean it's safe. There's a ton of caves and dank spots around here that get pretty dark even in the middle of the day. Here you go, guy. Can't take this. You got a thing! You got the lantern. It must be... Uh, <laughs> it's a must for lighting the third areas. I uh, read that at first as, uh, it must be a thing for lighting dark areas. I'm like, no kidding. Alright. So I have fuel. See, I sell lantern oil here. I'm trying to drum up sales by giving away free lanterns. It's a business tactic, guy. Okay? See, as long as you got oil to fuel your lantern, you can light the way and set fire to stuff. They're the best. Go on, guy. Try setting a fire in that big pot. Uh, sure. Let me just, uh, do that. Alright. There we go. That 
That's right. See, it's on fire, guy. Yeah, you keep me that lantern anytime you feel needed. And the Lord knows, oh, you come see me to get the feel. Alright, I will. Okay. Hey, yeah! Is uh, too too big to you. Whoa! I like this magic attack. My first enemy. Besides that spider, I guess. What's this? I don't know what that was. Alright, whatever. You found a play wooden sword. It's. Oh, I know. I, know, I forgot the name of the person. Talos, Talons, Talons. Somebody. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, now I can see because I, uh, I got a lantern. Bat. Let's kill that bat. Alright, let's light the way. Light in the way. Oh, dang it. Look at those bad guys. Yeah, light that on fire. What's this? What are you? Oh, it was a rat. That's kind of disgusting. Oh, now we got two ways to go. You with the way? Oh, there's a chest. There's a chest here. You got a yellow ruby! Yay! Alright, let's, uh, let's keep moving. Excellent. So, okay. Oh, that is creepy. Look at that guy. Whoa, hold on. That guy is the ugliest guy. He's got a... Yeah, take this. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, there was a, like a, it seemed like there was a deck. You see that, like, when I came in here? It was like a, like a, I guess you call it a deck, right? Bunch of stuff here. <sighs> so, I think this is ultimately where we want to go. A couple guys guarding. Why can't I spin? I guess I can't do a spin attack. Forest Temple Head, you got a flamethrower? Oh, oh, I asked him a flamethrower. Oh, yes. That's another guy. Yep, Master Fighter. And anyway, the reason I can't get in here without a key, you cannot proceed. So, uh, I need to get a key. So, um, the game makes it really easy the first time. Um, all you gotta do is just go this way, like to the red marker. This way. There's the guy sitting here. Yeah, you know what that guy is. Let's see what we've got here. Hopefully it's lantern oil. You've got a small key. Now, in classic Zelda fashion, there's always Zelda puzzles. If you see two, like, torches to be lit. Something good happens. Silver shine means we did something good. If I can climb up here. Okay. And we got a piece of heart. Uh, pieces of hearts are things you can collect. Uh, you get if you get five pieces. Usually in Zelda games it's four, but in this game it's five pieces. 
Um, if you get four, five of these pieces, you get a new heart container and it increases our health. So if you see on the top left of our screen here, there is a uh, hearts there. And as our health, uh, if we get five of these heart containers, we get another heart every time we do that. And uh, so they're worth, worth getting. And so enemies do get stronger as the game progresses. Right now it's kind of, we're kind of in the prologue of everything, so like, they don't do much damage, they're pretty easy to defeat. Because you're not supposed to know how to play yet. Nintendo's pretty good at, like, game difficulty, pretty good at, uh, making it easy at first, but then kind of getting harder, and then, like, making, like, some possible challenges for those who are really good. So now that we have a key, if you can see in the bottom right, because we picked up that key, it appears there, now we can open this locked door. Pretty much teaching us very basic zone mechanics here. And I think I missed out on some rubies there, but that's okay. So you guys having some fun over there? I'm just gonna... Oh, not that one. Ha! <laughs> I don't even know if that's doing anything to him. Oh! There you go. Nice. I'm getting rich. Alright, where are we at? Wait, am I at the right spot? Hold on a second. Where? Am I looking at the right thing here? This is over here. Trill shop. Make a payment at the box near the shopkeeper. So. Ah, I punished the evildoers. Ah, why am I not an evildoer? Alright, let me kill these guys real quick. Ah, Hey, the evildoers are hot! Wait, are you a customer? Oh, hey, sorry, so sorry. Please forgive me. I am a customer. Welcome! Hey, I accept anything! So, basically how this works is you take... You take the scoop of something, and then you just, you put money in the box, and you're supposed to put as much as the, um, that it's, it's worth here. Um, I guess I could get lantern oil. I should probably do that, actually. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I just drank the whole thing. So I go over here, I scoop it, lantern aisle. Okay, now if I try leaving though... Stop, thief! So now every time I come back, he's going to attack me because I stole. <laughs> I didn't pay for it. That's okay though, because I don't plan on coming back. And then we go over here. Why is it they're in a cage?
you're doing, Monkey? You look happy. You look like you're like so happy to be in a cage. Like this is my cage. I'm so happy we're in a cage. You know, we'll speak. Oh, get me out of here, please. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Alright, I'm returning her home then. If you hadn't come, Jesse G, me and the monkey probably would have probably gotten eaten. Would have gotten eaten probably, I told you. Switch the wording there. She's actually a pretty nice gal, that monkey. She tried to protect me, so we got captured together. Um, Jesse, you're not gonna mention this to my dad, are you? He's always telling me to never, ever go in the forest, because he says it's dangerous. So you really can't tell him, really. You have to promise. I also don't know which one is his for dad, or his dad. Jesse! My son told me Tallow disappeared into the woods and had not returned. I came as soon as I heard. But it looks like you have brought him home already. I apologize. Such a task would not fall on you. Tell me, you have you noticed how strange this wood seems lately? I feel uneasy about what may lie in wait. Anyway, Jesse. Tomorrow is finally the day you will be departing for Hyrule. I think it is a good thing that I have given this task to you. <laughs> good luck and return safely. If you are lucky, you may even get to meet Princess Zelda. <laughs> you kidder. Thornton Ranch. So it's almost time for you to get going, huh, Jesse? So how's about we finish up early today, bud? That sounds like a mighty fine plan. I'm just gonna be lazy and uh, pull over Bona. Hey! Okay then, let's get started. Okay then, let's get started. We've got the yeah, southern accent. Oh, alright, we're being timed this time. Let's see if we can get it in three minutes. See what's going on, and now we should be good to go. Uh. Uh. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
<laughs> he like opened his eyes, but not. I guess we're talking about something. I, I don't know what we're talking about. Oh, yeah, done. Heard for that. Well, that's work. The royal gift Russell told me we about is ready, so you should get ready for your trip to Hyrule Castle. <laughs> Now the royal family requested this gift specifically, so it's real special. I'd be glad <clears throat> if the representative of Ordon were to be late for such an occasion. Can you get me laugh? The path before you is a long one, my sweethearts. But please bear Jesse sleepily along it. Wait, what's this? What's happened? She's in her gym <laughs> Yes, yeah, yeah. Could you, you were pushing Lola too hard again. I bet you heard her leg jumping fences, didn't you? No, li no, Lilia. Lilia. Father! I totally didn't even read the rest of it. How can you be so easy on him? You're the mayor. You should start acting like one. <laughs> Thing. I am all right, Lola. I'll take you to the forest spring right now. Once we soothe you in the spirit spring, you feel back in no time. Wait. <laughs> Why, without Lola, the gift won't get delivered in time. Oh, this won't do. Time has come. Well, Jesse, I can at least interest you in one serious sword lesson once you return from Hyrule. You have talent with a blade. If you were to get a proper instruction, I bet you could be a very skilled sword. You can let me know once you've returned, but I want to give you some serious... I want you to give it some serious consideration. Wow. Alright. So this is what the menu looks like. It shows our thing here, our wallet. We're walking home with the 300 rubies, what we have, our current sword, a wooden sword, and our fish turtle. Yeah, green gill. Fantastic. Uh, we can also go down here and save our quest. We're gonna go ahead and save it to this here. Continue playing. We're actually not gonna continue playing. So we played for just like an hour and 20 minutes there. Um, it was a good stream. I think uh, it went well. We'll pick up where we left off, most likely tomorrow. Probably tomorrow night. Um, if I do it earlier, I'll let usually the people who are watching know. So... I think, I can't remember what one is my face cam. I want to say this one. I think that's the one. Yes. Alrighty. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If I can get two likes on this video, I will continue playing Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. We'll catch you all in the next one. Mm -hmm.